Um, I'm going to tell you about my exciting plans to transition my art room into a choice-based teaching environment. My particular studio focuses on drawing and painting. So what I've done was created centers, drawing and painting centers or stations, um, where the students can explore the medium and get materials on their own. Uh, for example, this is a painting station where there's resource books, there's visuals on the inside of the cabinets, and then all of the supplies are labeled. The choice-based approach that I plan on taking my students through is going to be very consistent. It includes the first part, which is me providing them with five-minute, really brief introductions to the uh, perspective or the topic that I'm um, diving into. The second step is for the individual student to dig deeper. They're going to do independent research um, and show evidence of that research uh, once they've been introduced to the specific media. Third, they'll have a small sketchbook of practice where they've practiced the techniques and experimented to show as evidence that they've been doing some research on their own. And fourth, once the um, project uh, has been researched, they're going to be doing filling out basically a project proposal assignment. And fifth, they'll create their final artwork. The sixth step is creating the piece for presentation. Uh, they'll be presenting it in various ways. It could make the showcase outside of the art room. Um, it could make the website gallery or in the final spring annual art show um, at Emmaus High School. And the seventh part of this proposal or project is a reflection statement. Um, they will be reflecting on um, their artwork, the artwork of others through critiques, maybe mid-progress critiques throughout the project, but reflection um, can be in um, the means of communicating, having a dialogue, or having a written artist statement. With this choice-based method uh, that I'm developing, I want to increase student motivation and have them feel a sense of autonomy and purpose and succeed.